Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. Um, I'm the author of the Break the Cycle nonprofit self improvement website. I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years, and the website is my attempt to pass on to you uh, everything I've learned in those 31 years about how to live a better life. Part of those 31 years has been devoted to the study of what happens to average young children who are traumatized in their first five or six years. What I mean by that is who experience significant parental abandonment, neglect, and abuse. What happens to such children across their lifetimes? What I've come to believe is, with the help of over a thousand average men and women, as my clients and students, and my own life. We who are traumatized um, often are burdened by up to six specific psychological wounds or injuries. Unless these are spotted and reduced, these injuries across our lifetime as teens and adults cause a great deal of personal social, relationship, family, marriage, money, and health problems. So the very first lesson out of the seven in my website is devoted to helping people understand more about this and to assess whether they have wounds and if so, how to reduce them safely and effectively. This video is an introduction to lesson one in the Break the Cycle series of seven self-improvement lessons. I want to tell you briefly what is in Lesson 1. Lesson 1 is for anybody who wants to find out if they were traumatized uh, as a very young child and if they have sustained psychological wounds. It is a collection of about 40 specific quote, assignments. Uh, these are much like assignments in any kind of school course. They are assignments to read articles in the website, um, sometimes to do worksheets or homework assignments. These articles are organized into four groups. The first is learn the basics. The first group of assignments has to do with finding out what is a healthy family? What is a dysfunctional family? What are childhood abandonment, abuse, and neglect? What are the six psychological wounds that accrue from a young child experiencing those? Uh, and what do these wounds mean? Typically, there are six specific things that many such people who have these wounds experience. You'll find more about that in the first part of Lesson 1. The second group of articles in Lesson 1 has to do with how specifically can you assess yourself to see if you have two to six of these psychological wounds. The first wound is true of all people in my experience, which is a form of normal personality splitting. That's wound number one. Um, for, with a variety of factors, it causes wounds two through six. So the second sec section in lesson one will give you a group of worksheets that will allow you to realistically and honestly assess, do I have psychological wounds? Am I a, quote, grown wounded child? That's section two. Section three is for people who conclude, yes, I do have significant psychological wounds. Section three goes into a great deal of practical detail based on 19 years of therapeutic experience from me as, as a therapist. If you want to reduce your wounds, section three in this first lesson will show you a technique that's proven and used by hundreds of therapists around the world. 
It's called parts work, working with the parts of your personality. Section 3 articles and worksheets will show you how to find out how is my personality constructed, what are my personality subselves like, what do they want, how do they communicate, how do they interact, how can I communicate with my subselves, how can I negotiate with them to help them grow trust in my indwelling true self. Everyone has a true self. How can I help my parts learn to trust and free my true self to make my daily decisions? So section three in this first lesson gives you a detailed practical set of tools, resources, and steps to learn how to answer the question, who am I? Who are the subselves that make you up as a unique, valuable human being? Who are they? What do they do? What do they believe? How do they interact? And if they don't trust your, sub, your true self, what's in the way of them doing that? That's section three. It can be loosely lumped together to, call, to be called recovery. Recovery from psychological wounds. The fourth and last section of lesson one has to do with a practical application of the other three sections. It is a set of articles and criteria to help you spot other people who have psychological wounds. And once you do, learn specific options as to how to best relate to them. By keeping your own boundaries <clears throat> and having compassion and empathy for them in their wounded state, being ruled often by a false self. Lesson one uh, recently has been expanded by a group of YouTube videos that I have made and continue to make to try and augment these 40 articles and worksheets on the premise that many people learn better by, able to, by being able to listen and watch rather than just read. So now lesson one includes a group of videos. Uh, presently, if you watch them all, they're in three groups three groups of videos. One is about grown wounded children and the basics. One is about your personality subselves and doing parts work. And the third group of videos um, is about addictions, which is a very special um, aspect of being a psychologically wounded person. If you view all these uh, videos together now, they would take you about 10 hours. So this is equivalent to a college course, a whole set of exercises and videos. Lesson one also includes on the website a group of inspirations that I've collected over 15 years that are of genuine help for many, many wise, compassionate people to help those of us who want to recover. Another resource is a book list for people interested in reading other people's opinions about childhood trauma, wounds, psychological problems, and recovery. And a list of websites that can be helpful. Many other points of view. A third resource that's part of Lesson 1 is my guidebook, which summarizes most of this information in the form of a hardcover or softcover or ebook. So that's one of the related um, <coughs> resources in lesson one. The last resource is a group of research articles that I have been collecting through public news services that give more perspective on and validate the premises that underlie lesson one and my whole Break the Cycle website. I want to offer you what proof I can find that the ideas that I'm presenting here are not just my own personal ideas. There is significant research that backs up these premises. So that is another Lesson 1 resource. This lesson is the keystone for all six other lessons 
in the Break the Cycle website. By the way, the cycle, if you haven't discovered it yet, the cycle that I'm referring to is the unintentional bequest from psychologically wounded and unaware parents giving to their children unintentionally psychological wounds and unawareness who grow up, marry each other, and pass on wounds and unawareness to their children. That cycle is silently undermining our culture. My website is an appeal become aware of this cycle and help to stop it. So, I hope for your sake and the sake of any living or future children that you may have, invest time and effort on your own behalf. Study Lesson 1. Thanks for watching.